What's up guys, how's it going? Today's video is gonna be a little bit different because we're gonna be doing a track walk. And the only way to really do a track walk well is to be at a racetrack to do it. So before we get into it, I just wanna say a big thank you to you guys for getting me up to 5,000 subscribers. It means a lot that you guys are really supporting this channel. And with that being said, we're gonna be doing merch. Um, it's something that I just haven't really worked on that much. So now, because we're at 5,000, I'm gonna work on it and I'm gonna get it down and we're gonna get some merch going out. So now that that's over, let's get started with the track walk. So walking the track is not necessarily that hard to do. Um, everybody's got their ideas and how they walk the track. Um, so today I'm gonna go over a few tips that I use when I'm walking a racetrack, just so I have a better understanding of the race line before I go out for a practice or anything. So the first thing I like to do is identify where the rubber is on the racetrack. And normally that's pretty easy to do because you can just look for where the track is you know, lighter versus where the track is darker. Basically when you're walking the track, the rubber tells you where the race line is. If you're not on the rubber, it doesn't matter what you do on the track walk or what line you decide to take. If you're not on the rubber, you're not gonna go fast because that's where the racing line is. So rule number one when you're walking the track, find the rubber. That's gonna tell you the most about the corner. That's gonna tell you where everybody turns in. That's gonna tell you probably where your braking zone is and where your apex is. So now that we've identified where the racing line is, our next step is gonna to be to look to the exit of the corner and understand what the next corner is after this. By doing that, we're getting a better understanding of where the apex is on this racetrack. For example, if there's a long straightaway after the corner that we're looking at, you probably are gonna have a different apex than if there's a corner right after it because you're gonna be setting up for that corner on the exit of this turn. So after you've identified where the racing line is and where the rubber is, you're gonna to look to the next corner and go, okay, how much distance is there between this corner and the next one? Do I need to sacrifice something here in this corner to get through the next corner? So now that we've identified where the racing line is and what the next corner looks like, we're gonna start walking the racing line on the rubber to really understand you know, what path we're gonna be taking going into the corner. Or what are we gonna do going through the corner? And this part where you just kinda of walk the racing line is where you're gonna understand you know, what the track is like what the characteristic of this corner is you know are, is there going to be bumps in the center of the corner how are we going to be you know addressing this corner so we're just going to walk the racing line and understand you know any characteristics about this corner as we go into it and this part really isn't the most important part because obviously once you get on the racetrack um, it's going to change a lot of how you drive but this just gives you a better idea so that when you go out on the racetrack you're not going to be lost and you're going to be in a in a much better position you know going into that first practice so now we've walked the racing line and we're around where we think our apex is going to be and so this is basically where your acceleration point is probably going to be in this general area um, and this is where you kind of want to make sure the go-kart is pointed in the direction you want to go and this is kind of what I was talking about you know when you look to that corner on the exit um, this is where you're gonna focus on where are you getting to the throttle because that corner is basically dictating where you're gonna get to the throttle so we're gonna look to that second corner and we're gonna get to the apex of the corner and go okay is this a point where I can accelerate and my go-kart is gonna make a straight line out of this corner and still be able to make that turn if the answer is yes this is probably gonna be around where your acceleration point is um, this is going to allow you to get the best exit out of the corner, the straightest line, which is obviously going to be the fastest. And so that's something you want to look for. That's something you're going to understand that this is the area that you're going to get on the throttle. If it's not, you know, you want to keep walking down the corner and understand, you know, can I get a straighter line out of here? Can I get the cart pointed in the direction that I want it to go to maximize the speed on acceleration? And now you've identified that acceleration point and so you're just going to walk in a straight line to the next corner and understand, you know, are you going to be set up for that next corner? Um, is this a good position for your go-kart to be in? You know, will you be able to attack the corner in the correct way? Basically the best way to do that is to start at step one again and understand, you know, where the rubber is and if your cart is entering at the beginning point of the rubber, you know, for the corner starting to form, then that means you started at the right spot and you're going in the right direction and you're set up for the corner, you know, exactly where you need to be. And then you just kind of repeat the process over and over again. You know, you keep doing the same thing for all these corners. Sometimes I kind of like to look back. You know, I like to turn around and, you know, look in the reverse direction, understand what the track looks like coming from this way. And you can really see how tight the racetrack is on the exit of the corner. Like I said, when you get on the racetrack, a lot of the stuff tends to change. Um, a lot of your acceleration points and your braking zones are all, you know, adapting as you go through the day. Um, some of the times, you know, you think you get on the throttle at a certain spot but you realize that the go-kart you know can have a little bit more speed and can take getting on the throttle a little bit sooner 
so you know you might get on a little bit sooner but the, the point of the track walk is just to get a better understanding of the characteristics of the racetrack and just not to be thrown for a loop you know when you go out for that first session just so you have a better um, shot at you know actually focusing on stuff that needs to be focused on you know and actually learning the corners correctly um, it just gives you that baseline so that when you go out on the racetrack you have a better understanding of what you're getting yourself into you're not going to get out there and be surprised of you know what the racetrack's going to throw at you so i'm going to walk you through this first corner again um, just so you guys get a better understanding of what i actually do on a track walk and we're going to come up to this first corner and look for the rubber and kind of identify where the rubber is on the racetrack this is going to show you exactly where the racing line is and you're not really going to have any questions of where you need to turn in for this corner just because the rubber's where the speed is it doesn't matter you know where you go on the racetrack if you're not underneath the rubber you're not going to be carrying speed so then again we're going to look to that next corner and we see that there's a corner that comes up pretty fast on the exit of this turn um, and so we're going to focus on that and we're going to understand that we're going to have to sacrifice a little bit in the center of the corner here so that we can get a better straighter line to that second corner and have a better run down that back straightaway. Now we're just going to walk that racing line all the way to the apex and you can see that the rubber kind of goes in pretty tight for this corner so that means we're probably going to have a pretty shallow entry into this corner. Um, that just gives you a better idea of you know where you need to place the go-kart in the braking zone here. It is a big sweeping corner so probably going to be carrying a lot of speed into this corner. As you can see though it is a little bit bumpy it's something that you can feel when you're out here so that's something else to note you know when you're getting through this corner is that it is going to be a little bit rougher than most corners but yeah nice shallow entry into this corner but now we've gotten to the apex and we're going to try and make a straight line from here to the next corner um, to see if this is exactly where we're going to be accelerating or around the area that we're going to be accelerating just so we can have the best exit to the next corner and we're pointed directly where we want to go for the next corner so for this next corner here they do run over the curbs that means we are pointed in the direction that we want to go and we're pointed straight which means we're going to get a good run down to this back straightaway and now that we're close to the next corner we see that we did hit the apex at the right spot and we are set up for the next corner so there's a few things you just really want to focus on when you're doing a track walk and that's just focusing on where the rubber is because like i said before it doesn't matter where you are on the racetrack if you're not underneath the rubber you're not going to have any grip and it doesn't matter what the racing line you think is going to be on the racetrack if there's no rubber there there's no grip so there's no speed so find where the rubber is that's going to paint the best picture for you and basically explain exactly where you need to go on the racetrack because that's where everybody else is and then you want to focus on what corner comes after that corner because like i said that paints the clearest picture for you of where you need to be on the throttle and where your apex is going to be Honestly, if you really just follow those two things, you're going to have a much better time doing track walks because you're going to have a much better understanding of what the track is doing and the kind of characteristics of the racetrack and just have a better understanding of you know, where you need to turn in, where the grip is, and where you need to accelerate. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments below if there's any tips you guys use when you're walking the track, any kind of specific things that you guys do um, to walk the racetrack. It's something that I do at every race that I'm at, and so I'm always interested to hear you know, different ideas and different ways people go around the racetrack. I know some people that like to walk the track backwards, and so you know, any unique thing you guys do, let me know. Also, make sure to follow me on my Instagram and on my Facebook. That's where you'll get any updates on my racing career. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you at the next one.